and welcome to episode 11 of You Squad Legend Series 7 with Barcelona. I've sorted out my shortlist for the end of the transfer window. These are the kids that could potentially make the move to Barcelona. And the comments last episode have helped me a lot because why didn't I think about swapping some of my players with some of these players. It means that the space in the club remains the same. And of course, when we get everything sorted, we can just buy the players back. I mean, we've got loads of money. So, we have Stefano Scalini, the goalkeeper, Italian, probably the buff on regen. He's on my radar, but we do have two very good goalkeepers already. Simone Frora, also Italian, centre-back at 18 years old. This guy is showing great potential. John Yves and Nanny, left-back at 18 years old, and I have no idea if I've pronounced that name right. His acceleration is 85 to 95, with a sprint speed of 81 to 91. Byron Taylor, probably the most interesting player on this shortlist. His acceleration is 84 to 94, with a sprint speed of 80 to 90. And he's 6 foot 5. Josh Holding, centre-mid, this Seems to be a lot of good English talent around. He's got some nice stats, long passing at 63 to 73, short passing at 68 to 78. Frederico Lagomino. Oh, look at that sprint speed. He's got a five-star weak foot and three-star skill move, so he could play either wing. Then we've got Matthew Dickinson, another English youth, and this guy is an exciting prospect. Robert Dem, a German in Italy, probably Miroslav Klose's regen, finishing of 63 to 73. Um, he's five foot nine, not bad. Probably will cost a lot more simply because he's at Juventus. And finally, Billy Roberts, the first English striker we could potentially have since Matt Charles. Yes, it has been that long ago. We're going to go for the most important position straight away, so the centre-back is coming into the club. Just going to slap a hefty sum on him like £7 million and Felipe Marcano. They will not reject that. I've got to be fairly careful on which players I send out because some will grow tremendously well and others will just fade into the distance. So we're going to send out Luis Martinez, who has the potential to be special. Hopefully when he comes back, he'll have grown about five or six overall. Stick a few million on the deal as well, and Billy Roberts should be one of our players soon. I do believe this is Schiavi's debut at the back. So many class regens in this save. Another 71 overall player. Granada against Barcelona. Close up on the new man, Andreas Schiavi. This will be quite a contrast because not so long ago we were playing with Luton Town in episode 7 of Series 8. Now we're playing with the much pacier Barcelona side. And Kartramaskas has just scored within the first seven minutes. That's what a bit of pace gives you, and it's fantastic play building up to the goal. Cross comes in, and that will be the first touch for Schiavi, a clearance out. But Granada have scored. They picked up the loose ball, passed it across, bang, into the back of the net, one all. Oh, Palucci's got space. What are the defence doing? It's 2-1 and a great 20 minutes here. The palucci Moscas partnership is thriving. Navarro, I'm going to send it across. It's a beautiful pass. And Madrazo's first touch isn't bad. The shot wasn't either. Oh, lovely block there by Schiavi. And we are on the attack now. That was really well played. And the ball, that's, that ball's quite nice as well. Barcelona shifting up the gears. Kartramaskas. Oh, hoo -hoo. get done. Kartramaskas. It's not long until we get a third. Great 20 minutes of football. Not so great the next 25. Half time. Granada 1. Barcelona 2. If we get Taylor and Ferrara into this defence, it's going to be the most OP defence YSL has ever seen. Just thinking how good they'll be when they're actually fully grown, he's, he's got to be so sick. And don't forget, we've also got the captain Gonzalo in that defence. It's a shame that Granada have gone quite defensive here. It was quite a free-flowing open game before they made the change. And you've got to question why they've made it as well, because they're 2-1 down. Oh, Schiavi is excellent in the air. And he might actually make an assist. Palucci is going to run through. The shot wasn't strong enough in the end. Corner kick comes in. Navarro aims it at Schiavi, who wins the header. But there's no accuracy in the effort. 
Oliver Ancrot. This is the third, surely. Korchamorskas. Oliver Ancrot doing his bit again. And the forward from Lithuania can't stop scoring goals. We can afford to concede another one. The goalkeeper's up for them, actually. That's an interesting... Oh! He nearly scored for him! <laughs> that would have been a story, wouldn't it? Well, he's up again for the second corner. Get it out. And that will signal full time at 3-1 to Barcelona. As expected, the two transfer offers are accepted for Frara and Billy Roberts. Both contract offers have been accepted. Billy Roberts and Simone Frara are now Barcelona players. We've received a transfer offer for Gerard Piquet. He's off to buy a Leverkusen for £30.5 million. And off goes Alan Hililovic to FC Cologne. And to top the transfer window off, Ty Wynn is back at the club after his short loan spell. The wing-back Jose Azevedo has now joined the first team. And it won't be long until he's joined by the man he actually beat to the first team spot, Kalev Shoa, who is now also getting offered a professional contract. Because we've only got limited space in this first team, I think we can only promote one more player. That man's going to be Leo Paletta. It was a choice between him and Gilarnos because they're both 17 years old. Gilarnos has a better overall, better potential, but he is a goalkeeper and we're quite settled with Hoon Hong, to be honest. We're going to have to work a lot on Leo Paletta, but there is some potential there and if he becomes an 86 overall centre-back, I somehow doubt it, but if he does, he'll be one hell of an asset to the team. Also, you've got to put into consideration that the May bump is happening very soon. And if Galanos gets through it without terminating his contract, he doesn't actually suffer that much because he's a goalkeeper. It does look like we can actually release another player from their contract. Only a month ago, it was saying that I'd released too many players, but I am going to select this option, and we've got another space in our club now. Oh, this is great. We can release two players. Rafinha's out as well. So, who to pick? I think Gilarnos now gets a professional contract. And also, the very tasty central defensive midfielder, Victor Jimenez, overall of 64 to 68, with the potential of 84 to 90. 44 overall Paletta, and I'm going to play him against Malaga. Don't worry, you've got Sciavia's company, you'll be fine. Second game of the episode, it's Barcelona against Malaga. Interesting to see what number 14 Billy Roberts can do and can bring to this side. He's not that tall, but he is gifted with some potential. Saved by Hoon Hong, two saves by Hoon Hong, double save. Morales, just played through, it's Billy Roberts! Saved right down at the near post. Suarez. Oh, what a ball that was! Vega! Barcelona asking massive questions of Malaga, but no change in the scoreline so far. Half time at 0 0. Malaga, one of the better sides in the league. And they are struggling against Barcelona as Carchamar's gas takes the first shot of the second half. Well, they found some space through my defence, passed across, and Hoonong with the big save. Can we break these guys down? A defensive-looking Malaga. Billy Roberts, oh, they are flying in with the challengers. It's Manuel Navarro. Oh, Kocha Moscas did very well with the header, but good save in the end. Malaga are one of the better sides in the league, and at times we made them look like amateurs. It's so weird to think that this is the first season that we've actually been playing with the squad. Because we've actually got a backbone that we've not really seen in any other Youth Squad Legends series before. Apart from like Series 2 with Fleetwood and we had like a massive pool of players already available to us. Because we like started halfway through the career mode. Hitafe against Barcelona. Tafe with the free kick, probably around 28 yards. Oh, and an incredible save by our goalie. Jinok Kim, waiting for the pass out wide. Zebra Marnie does have a bit of speed, this lad, and moves into the box. Punch out, but it's only come as far as Oliver Ancro. Keeper's done wonders there, coming out and meeting the shot. It's a pretty decent area for a right-footed free kick takeoff. That must have been very close. Surely, off, surely he was offside. Where's the call? Who's playing him onside there? He's called Yoda. It's from a corner. The guy on the front post is just wandering about, completely forgetting that there's an offside line. 
and he's just letting everybody on side. He doesn't even help out defensively either, he just wanders off to the wing. Well done, son. Halucci, two against one, skips past the first challenge. And Karchamarskas was in acres of space if he could find him. Yoda crosses, should be alright for Ankroy, it isn't, it's another goal for Hatafe. I don't quite believe they're 2-0 up. To get anything from this game, we need a goal like in the next few attacks. Oh my god, they've scored a third. This is beyond a joke. They've had three good opportunities in the match and they've buried all three. The scoreline looks so much worse than the actual performance of the team. Full time there. Hatafe 3, Barcelona 0. Well, to be honest, we need a win in our last game of this episode, but the last game of the episode is against Valencia away. We've got our OP defence ready, Valencia against Barcelona in the last game of this episode. Corner kick early on, Morelos will aim it to Billy Roberts was there, Bon and Bob! Oh! Good! Gonzalo! Gay! And cross! Into Billy Roberts! Saved! Scarvi and Barn and Bob on that side, they're not going to get outrun, ever. Oh, it's red! Someone's got sent off! Quadrado has got sent off. I didn't think it deserved a red card. It was a nasty slide tackle, like. Valencia have been quite tough with the tackling. Quite an interesting decision there by the referee. It will certainly help us in the search for a win. Madrazo with the corner kick. Oh, Gonzalo wants the first touch, man. Born and Bob control it. Nacho Camacho to Madrazo, who just took that corner kick. Romero, Navarro. Oh, we're just trying to work it round, and it's just impossible. I mean, drawing with Valencia, especially away from home, is a good result for this Barcelona side. But we've spent about 50 minutes, 50 minutes against 10 men. Don't blow for full time just yet. Give us one more opportunity. Agostino Pellucci, back heel. I try and get it to Carter Moscas. Just take the shot. Oh. Frustrations in the end for Barcelona. A goalless draw to end the episode. We're going to sign up Federico Bellati and Ivan Contreras in the hope that they could become very good wingers even through the May bump. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of You Squall Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like and I will see you next time.